Assalamu alaikum. This is Halal Foods Kitchen. Today we're making everyone's favorite yummy delicious cupcakes topped with silky delicious ganache. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to my channel, I really hope you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can reach to our new videos. First of all, we start preparing the ganache so it can cool down while we bake the cupcakes. Here I have some chocolate and I've warmed some cream. We pour it on the chocolate, leave it to sit for around 1 to 2 minutes before we start mixing them together. I'll keep on mixing until I have smooth silky ganache. You can see all the chocolate has melted and everything has come together nicely. It only needs to cool down before we use it. I'll cover it with plastic wrap and keep it in the fridge to let it cool down completely while we bake our cupcakes. I'm placing the plastic on the ganache directly so it doesn't form a thick skin when it cools down. And now for the cupcakes, here I have 3 quarters of a cup of unsalted butter at room temperature. I'll whisk it very well until it's nice and creamy. And now I'll add the sugar. I have a quarter and a half of granulated sugar. I keep on whisking it until I have a nice fluffy creamy texture. With a spatula make sure you bring everything down from the sides. Now I'll start adding the eggs. I have 5 eggs at room temperature. I'll add them one by one and continue whisking. Now I'll add 2 teaspoons of vanilla. You can add 1 tablespoon. And a quarter teaspoon of salt. And a cup of milk. Now I'll sift in two and a half cups of cake flour. And two teaspoons of baking powder. I'll sift them in as well. With the spatula I'll fold in the flour before whisking it so I don't have flour everywhere. Now 
make sure you don't overbeat the, the batter once everything comes together you stop beating so you don't end up with tough uh, cupcakes I've lined my baking tray with paper cups I'm gonna use the ice cream scoop to scoop in the batter so I have equal amount of batter in each cup this recipe is for um, vanilla cupcakes but I will use only two-thirds of the batter for the vanilla and now I'll add some chocolate sauce that I've made I've added two um, tablespoons of cocoa powder with uh, two tablespoons of sugar you can add four if you want and around four tablespoons of milk until I had this uh, chocolate sauce and I've added to the batter so we can make chocolate cupcakes I'll scoop them in and I've prepared my oven on 180 degrees Celsius they will take around 20 to 25 minutes to bake we test them with the toothpick before we take them out if it comes nice and clean so that means it's well done and these are the cupcakes we'll let them cool down completely before decorating them with the ganache here's the chocolate ganache I've made white chocolate earlier but the chocolate that I've made with you turned out a little bit runny I've added too much cream to it and I didn't have the same quality chocolate that I've used so I'll fix it by whipping it and putting it in the freezer for a while and whisking it again before using it but I'll make sure to leave you the correct ingredients in the description box I've popped it in the freezer for around 15 minutes and I'm whisking it so I can pipe it easily I'll put it in the piping bag and put it back in the fridge while I uh, use the white ganache you'll have to fold the tip before filling the piping bag now the cupcakes have completely cooled down we'll start decorating it I'll show you how we can add the ganache without the piping bag we just use a spatula and spread it just like that so easy or if you'd like to pipe it using the piping bag it can be piped really easily so silky and creamy and delicious now I'm sure you can decorate it even better than I did I've topped it with some sprinkles the kids really loved it I really hope you try it and leave me a comment down below and if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell so you can reach to our new videos 
and I'll see you next time with a new recipe. Thank you so much for watching.